Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ross with Stammer.ai and today I'm going to be showing you a quick updated tutorial on how you can connect any of your AI chatbots to Zapier using the white label API. And so this is where we're going to find the information via your account under API and then under explore documentation message chatbot. And so this is going to be where we're, where we find all the information. And this is where you should see the, uh, your domain show up here. And this will be the white labeled, uh, API URL endpoint that you use to connect it to apps like Zapier. And so when we want to connect it to things like Slack or Facebook or kind of discord, kind of whatever it may be, uh, Zapier is a kind of a great way to do that. And there's two different ways that you can do that. Uh, and the first way that we're going to be going over today is, uh, more of like the manual way using the API. So in order to get this set up, we're going to split the, we're going to do a little split screen action here. Move this one over here. <clears throat> this way we'll have, we'll be able to uh, easily copy and paste everything over. All right. So in order to get started, what we need, want to do is uh, figure out, we can use uh, Zapier's AI uh, little builder here, or we can do it manually. Uh, and I think for this example, we'll just do, stick with, uh, doing all this manually. But so the trigger here is going to be wherever, uh, you know, wherever that message is going to be coming from. So for this example, I think we're going to do Facebook page. So this is going to be a new message, Facebook messenger. This is going to be a new message sent to a page. And so this is what we're going to do here is we're just going to connect, uh, connect this to Facebook, one of my Facebook pages site, right? There we go. Continue. Okay. And we should see some tests here. Yep. So I'm going to say, Okay, so here we have the message that I just sent to the Facebook page as the test. So it's hello, hello. Okay, so we're going to continue with that record. And so now that's going to that's gonna be the message that we're taking in. Now we need to take that message and then send it to Stammer via the white label API. And so we're going to do that via the webhooks by Zapier. Okay, so now we need to set up the webhook by Zapier. And we're going to start off by selecting post. And some of these terms might be kind of confusing. I know they were for me when I first started kind of, you know, learning all, all about all this stuff. Um, and the terms like, you know, requests and posts and all these things, um, they might sound confusing, but it's all just generally words that are representing the actions of sending or receiving data to and from different things. And so in this case, post means that we're going to be sending data to something, and then we're going to be receiving data back in that same action or, or same step. So, and, and, and that's what might be kind of confusing is typically you might expect there to be two steps to, to do that, but we're actually sending and receiving in this one, in this one webhook step right here. So we're using post and then here's where we need to start copying and pasting some information in. So under URL, we're going to copy and paste in our endpoint over here. Just like so. Payload type, we need to make sure that this says JSON because the data from Stammer is going to be sent in a JSON format. Okay. And then what we need to do is select and enter in a couple of these data fields here. So the first one is going to be chatbot UUID. Go like that. And the next one is going to be query. And then the last one is going to be user key. Like that. So all these are gonna be different fields to make sure that all the conversations are unique and all that. So chatbot UUID, that's where we need to pull a UUID from one of our chatbots. So we need to go back to our dashboard, go to chatbots, and then we can view basically any of these chatbots. We're gonna to go to this one and we're gonna go chatbot UUID and copy this value. We're gonna paste it in right here, 
just like so. Cool. Query, this is going to be the message from Facebook. So we can select in here and then we can select from the drop down message text, hello. And that will be the message text that's sent. User key, this needs to be a unique value. So if we look at the definition for this one real quick, this is to ensure that all messages uh, and conversations are unique to each user. So uh, a unique identifier slash string used to distinguish users interacting with the chatbot. And so with Facebook and with different CRMs, and there's going to be a different, a uh, lot of different options that you can use or values. Uh, but for this one, for Facebook, the best one that I found is sender PSID. And that will be the unique value that is attributed to the user that, uh, that fit that, you know, from, from Facebook essentially. Okay. So then wrap, uh, request in array, no file. We can leave blank unflatten. We want to be yes. And we can just basically leave that one, that blank, uh, basic auth we're leaving blank and then headers. We're going to write authorization. And then in the value here, we're going to write token and space, and then go over to your dashboard and in, in your white label chatbot. And you're going to go to your account API and make sure you're in this section. And this is going to be your API token. And this will be uh, the one that's private. And so you're going to click this copy to clipboard, and then you're going to now paste that after token space and then paste paste in the value there and then that should be good to test so you can click continue and then we're going to go test step and then there we go chatbot successfully answered and then this is the answer from that chatbot hello how can i assist you today and so what we need to do now is now get that message and send it back to the user in Facebook. So now what we can do is click add step and we're going to search for Facebook messenger, send message from page, continue. We're going to make sure that we're selecting the same page. And then the recipient ID is going to be, oh, recipient ID is going to be that sender PSID right there. And then our text, we're going to select the text as the data answer from the drop down right there. So if we do this and we, if we do test step, we should see a message here pop up. There we go. Hello. How can I assist you today? Perfect. So now this met this, uh, automation is set up to basically respond to users when they message the Facebook page. So you can click publish and that will make sure you name, uh, make sure you name your zap. And then that will now be active whenever somebody messages the Facebook page. So that's a pretty quick tutorial. The most important piece is making sure that you enter in all of these, you know, paste in all of these values correctly. Um, the, uh, I guess the most, the most often the, or the error that I see most often is, uh, missing the user key and then making sure that the, the token is formatted correctly. And it's, it's, it has to be written in this exact format, um, as well as making sure everything's spelled correctly. That was one thing I was, uh, when, you know, there's a weird error or something, just make sure everything is spelled correctly. Cause like one time I, I misspelled authorization and that was the, that was the error that was making the whole thing break. And then once I made sure I spelled it rightly or correctly, it worked fine. So little things like that, just make sure you're going over, uh, again, but that's how you can connect it to essentially anything. So if the, the, this middle part stays the same and the two triggers and the, and the third action or the secondary action that can be whatever you want. So this could be Slack discord. Um, I mean, honestly, but yeah, so that's how you connect your stammer dashboard via the white label API to anything in Zapier. 
Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks.